I mean, if we're being honest, it's probably one of the best collaborations of the year, but y'all didn't hear that from me. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And like last week, we are kicking off the show with some pretty cool kicks from the folks over at Puma. This is their collaboration on the RSO with Roland, the electronic music company. And the collaboration, well, it came out really nice. Those will cost you 120 if you can find a pair. Now on the flip side, Nike is bringing back the Air Vandal, but this is the Supreme Edition. Not Supreme as in the clothing brand, but as in the Vandal Supreme. There are two colorways in this pack and both feature a sort of metallic tint to the upper, one in black and the other in University Red. Basically, the shoe is a mix of the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Force 1. You can grab those for $90. Moving ahead to Thursday, we have the Adidas Ultra Boost LTD. The model is going to drop in a cloud white colorway. The Ultra Boost has been kind of low key for the most part, but this pair will drop over at finish line for $200. All right, jumping over to the sportswear side of things, we have the Nike Air Vapor Max Fly Knit dropping in two separate colorways. The Vapor Max Fly Knit has been a pretty popular shoe, and I think they will continue to be as Nike explores the color options for the upper. You can grab those for $190. Keeping with the Vapor Max, Nike has the Vapor Max Plus also dropping in a few different colorways. This model, it combines the Air Max Plus and the Nike Vapor Max for a hybrid sort of model. You can grab those for $190 as well. Going back to Puma, we see they have the Thunder Desert dropping. This is Puma's entry into the dad shoe market. And as I have said before, the Thunder is probably the best of the category. You can grab those for $120. If you're looking for sneakers for the lady in your life, or if you're just a female sneakerhead, check out the Puma Muse Maya. I think that's how you say it, M-A-I-A. -A. Either way, these shoes were released in two colorways, and you can grab those for $100 over at Finish Line. For the next release update, you may think that it's a women's version at first glance, but it appears that this Jordan sneaker works for both genders. The model flips the traditional style of the Air Jordan 1 high and removes the laces, and in their place, we have a zipper. It's an interesting look for sure, and if you want to grab one of these models with premium materials on the upper, you can grab those for $150 bucks. All right, for the final Thursday drop, we have the Women's Air Force One Upstep. As you can tell from the upper, this is a very unique look with that huge aerographic that goes from the toe to the mid panel. If you plan on rocking these, they'll cost you 140. Jumping ahead to Friday, we have the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 35 Premium. The Pegasus is one of Nike's best running shoes to date, and this new premium version just ups the look and style of the shoe just a bit. This is a women's release, and you can grab those for $135. Switching up to Under Armour, we see the Hover Phantom we're releasing in a blue colorway. The Hover Phantom features this brand new cushioning system, which is very nice. You can grab those for $130, and sticking to that $130 price point, we have the Under Armour Curry dropping in a white and black colorway. The Curry is the new kid on the block when it comes the basketball shoes and those will be available at finish line just in time to start the new school year if you rather have your basketball kicks come from the old school the nike air max penny is coming in a white and metallic silver colorway on friday as well the air max penny is a very popular model and the style still stands after all these years later you can grab those for 160. All right, rounding out the drops for Friday is the Nike and Travis Scott collaboration on the Air Force One Low. Travis just dropped his album and this new Air Force One is almost perfect. The model features a tan or off-white sort of color on the upper and you can grab those for 150 with a couple of options to customize the look. Moving forward to Saturday, Jordan Brand is releasing more colorways of the Jordan 32's Legacy. For those that don't know, this is the model created by Don C and it features a mix of different Jordan models on the overall design. I personally have the Royal Blue pair and you can grab one of these three pairs for $160. $60. One of the more hyped releases of the week is the Nike Kyrie Irving cereal pack. The pack borrows some design details from three General Mills breakfast cereals like Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and obviously Kicks. Some of the shoes will come in special edition boxes, but those are going to be super hard to get. Either way, fans of Kyrie or fans of breakfast cereal can grab these for $120 a piece. And the sleeper sneaker of the weekend comes from Jordan brand with the Air Jordan 12 Retro and Olive. There hasn't been a ton of hype around this model, but I have a feeling that this colorway is going to do really well when it comes to those outfit grids and you rocking that new fire fit for school when it starts back up. As usual, this pair is $190. And again, I think it's one of the sleeper sneakers of the weekend. You can grab those on Saturday over at Finish Line. All right, so that's going to do it for the show today. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I mentioned in the video. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.